Design Kitchen is a facility where undergraduate engineering students can come to accomplish their design tasks. I think of it as a facility where we uh, have facilities, tools, equipment, technicians available to the students to reduce the barriers for them to accomplish their design tasks. A couple of important things can happen at the Design Kitchen that couldn't happen when students were located at many different labs around the university. And one is that we can have students working on interdisciplinary design teams. Um, teams that are working on real-world design challenges. The reason that's important is because our engineers will get out into the field and working in industry, they will be working on interdisciplinary teams. And what we find is that these interdisciplinary teams have a tremendous success in actually accomplishing their design tasks. Um, that's because they bring varied skill sets to a team and then they're able to focus on solving a real problem. So the problems come from what I would consider our partners in the field. What does that mean? That means uh, professional engineers in industry. That means physicians at the medical center, doctors in the developing world, from uh, community partners such as the City of Houston or the Museum of Fine Arts, um, other groups such as that. Shriners Hospital for Children is another hospital where we get many design projects for our students. So we're a freshman design team and uh, we set out to uh, design a method for the Shriners Hospital to measure form rotation in uh, children with possible muscular skeletal diseases. We're part of the freshman engineering design team and we're working to retrofit this beautiful Surrey as a zero emission alternative to the golf carts used on campus by facilities, engineering, and planning. And I'm one of the members of Climateers. We're a group of bioengineers working here at Rice at the OEDK on a project sponsored by Baylor to build and construct a pair of climate controlled goggles to help standardize dry eye testing. All of the resources that are available in the ODK have been just a phenomenal help in our project. So we have to drill holes at times, we need to um, weld things together and we've also used the soldering lab to help create our circuit board here. Uh, they have wires, they provide us with all the tools we need to build this device and that has just been incredible. Everything's right at your fingertips. We are Team Equilibrator. We're building a balanced therapy entertainment system for children with cerebral palsy. Children with this mental malady can have disordered balance, but they can improve with practice. What we're doing is providing a fun, exciting way for them to practice their balance. We're doing this by creating an array of Wii boards on which the child stands while they interact with a video game. On either side of the Wii boards are some handrails that are instrumented so we can tell if the child touches them and how hard they touch them. The game provides a disincentive for the child to rely on the handrails for balance. Our interdisciplinary team was handed down this project from Shriners Hospital for Children as well as from the OEDK. But when we're done with this project, we'll be handing it over to Shriners Hospital and hopefully they'll be implementing it in their gate analysis lab right away. Our students get a very good technical background in their coursework but where they get the opportunity to practice engineering is when they have the chance to solve real-world design challenges. What I also find for the students is that when we offer them projects that they're interested in, they will work above and beyond what's necessary for the class because they want to solve the problem. These students go into engineering because they want to make things and solve problems, and this is the place where they can do that. Working in the OEDK is a magical experience. So imagine maybe when you're growing up, your dad has a garage that's full of tools. This is that garage times 10. It's amazing. Anything we need to find, it's here. If we can't find it here, we just go talk to Carlos, we order it up, it's here in less than a week. It's fantastic.